right, I had a bit of a, a whoops moment there as I discovered that uh, one of my bolts was way too small. Uh, and that was basically because, well, besides the fact that I didn't measure it well enough, but I used thicker than normal dowels and didn't really account for, it, for the width of that, as well as, uh, actually, I, I guess I added the width of the dowels but forgot that there's going to be a little thing in the middle. Um, let me take this apart. So I did a, a quick test to make sure that it actually would work. The airplane's going over because we're actually not too far from the air. That uh, gives me a moment to see if I can get this straight up. You can see that it kind of supports itself there. And just to give you a close view, closer view of that, I can get it out of the shadow. You really just have two of them that are strung all the way through, plus one more that is strung through this one here. And if I were to undo this acorn nut and pull it out, I could more easily see what's going on. So you see it's just it's just these two. And that this bolt and this eye bolt is uh, is stuck through the middle of this And it swings pretty freely. Like it's a pretty clever kind of thing. I would not have thought of this myself. But it seems to it works really well for such a simple idea. I mean, wouldn't you have thought that if you're putting a tripod together that you had to find some kind of trip, triple method for making the tripod work, sticking one through each leg, or making a triangle or something? No, it turns out you just stick them through there, and then one more coming off of this other one. And you just turn them relative to each other, and there you go. So now the thing is to figure out how to string up the top. And uh, let me just show you for a second what uh, I've been trying to figure out something else that was going to work for the top, some type of fabric. But uh, you know, I, I wanted to replace the leather. And the problem with using anything else is it's not really as uh, strong, and it's going to involve some sort of uh, doing something else. I mean, this was something that I tried, and I still think it would work, even though I made this one just a little bit too small. It was original, you know, like that. It was really big, but either way, it doesn't matter. The point is that actually, I could have just done it kind of like that. The point is, you had to, you have to go through all this stuff in order to uh, make something that's strong enough to make a seat out of that's going to support itself. So I wanted to come up with something that was easy to do that didn't involve any sewing. That was uh, a key requirement. Um, at least as far as, you know, any other type of fabric that you see across here, you're going to have to you know, seam all the way across every one of these edges. And if you have a sewing machine, that's awesome. Or if you have a lot of time and really strong fingers, you could thread through a whole bunch of layers of thread um, of, uh, of fabric. But I did not want to do that. I want to have something quick and easy and also dirt cheap. And this material here is 79 cents a yard. And we need a yard. Um, I actually bought more than a yard just to, uh, you know, prepare for some other kind of arrangement. There are other ways that we might do this, but I'm going to um, fold something up and just see what happens with an extremely quick and dirty uh, way of doing it. Uh, grab that and then be right back in just a second.